think in patchwork and quilting, we all try to be a little bit more accurate uh, each time we sew. Uh, and sometimes that makes us just stick with the easy patterns. But you know what? Um, challenging is, is fine. There is a move to, uh, for us with the sewing machines to uh, follow the lead of the ladies who sew by hand. And this happens to be a new template designed by Carolyn Forster, where she encourages us to sew from the dot to the dot, because that's what she does, because she sews by hand. And I love her patterns, but sewing them on the sewing machine is really quite challenging. Now my friend Jane here tells me she might have a trick up her sleeve which I didn't like to ask her to share, <laughs> but um, please will you share? Yeah, I will do it. We're going back again into sewing applications on the machine, back into here, and we're going to go through to patchwork. And what's that going to do for me? It's going to let us sew the same length seam over and over again. So oh, we need wow. to set it on the first seam. So I'm just going to leave it on the straight stitch. And again, as before, it's dropped our stitch length to 1.8 for us automatically. Right. We can set it with the locker mat it with the stitches reversing either end if you want. Well, that would be perfect for here because this is, I can see it's going to be an inset seam yes. at some point. So if you want the locker mat it, we'll pop that on. And then we literally, we're going to sew the first seam and it's telling me that it will memorise it for multiple piecing. So it's a really nice feature. You're going to have to bear with me because I'm afraid I'm going to have to come I'm right round. Go, but so these are all rotary see. cuts, so they're going to be absolutely identical. Yeah, so it's really, so I'm going to start that on the first one. And it's one again, one of the few times where I use a hand wheel because I want that to be yes. really exactly on that dot. I've got the quarter inch foot on. And again, so we're going straight down. I'm going to slow this down a little bit when I'm coming to the end because I can't. You need to be able to see where that to, dot is, If you want is, to be really you? accurate on these seams. Yeah. So, and again, you need to press the reverse button as you come to your dot because the machine doesn't know when you want to stop. Oh, So yes, we've done course. our first seam. And we're now going to get a little screen up here that's saying, do I want to do the same size or do I want to do a different size? Well, I want to do the same size again. I'm going to take that one off. I'm going to pop your other one on. Okay. And again... I like to use a presser foot manually when I'm doing this, which is a really nice feature on this. There we go. Am I back in there? Yep. So I'm going to pop the needle and make sure I'm in the right place. And then I'm just going to sit back and let you do the same size seam for me again. And I know that when I get to the bottom, it's done it again. Then we can open them out, and there we go. So can we pop them up so we I can see? I was going to say those so are the perfect inset seams, aren't they? Yep. Look. So it's a really lovely feature, and it's one that comes in handy for all kinds of things. If you're chain piecing, anything like that. I see it's those are nice. tumbling blocks. These are definitely yeah. the wrong colours for that. Yeah. But that the, the top is empty there, yeah. and the bottom is empty, and it's all yeah. neatened off. Well, wow. so really lovely feature, and again, it will keep doing that same size for as long as you like. I think that's amazing. Mm -hmm. it, yes, hand patchwork, eat your heart out.